Hello, we're going to talk about ESL reading games. The goal of ESL reading comprehension is to help your students become better thinkers. When people read, they figure out what each word means and how sentences are put together. Also, reading comprehension activities can help with writing skills because a good reader is usually a very good writer. Let's look at some really fun reading activities for the ESL classroom, both teachers and the classroom and for those who teach online will learn new ways to connect with their students. Number one, the ESL jigsaw puzzles. What you'll need is a jigsaw puzzle for this activity. You can either buy one that's blank or turn one over and write sentences for each piece. As you can see from the example at the top, we can look at I like to play games. So once the puzzle piece is separated, then they put it back together, they can read what the puzzle says. Number two, rhyming riddles. The teacher should make a worksheet and offer picture cues for the younger readers. Ask them to guess the missing word in each sentence. They will read the sentences aloud after they've figured out the missing rhyming words. Number three, jumbled words. When you write or print something on paper, cut it into strips with one word per strip. The students then will take the words and rearrange them to create a sentence and then read the sentence aloud. And as you can see from the sample on the board, they are color coded. So each sentence group is color coded so the students know. Number four is to fill in spaces. What they're going to do is they're going to look at a group of words and sentences and they're going to fill in the spaces with words that make sense. In this activity, they make sense, but to have a lot more fun with it, you can do Mad Libs. Mad Libs Online is going to be connected below the video so that you can also use the Mad Libs. Mad Libs are a lot of fun when they read those silly sentences. Number five, the text-based questions. Students often use the images as well as the reading text to help them answer the comprehensive cues. So have them read the text aloud and then have them answer the questions either by filling in blanks or if they're a little older, they can write their answers and also teach them how to use the question to form the answer. If I ask, who is the main character? They would answer, the main character is. Number six, book discussions. Assign a book to your students to read, something that is age appropriate, and have them completely read the book at home, and then they can come back to class and give an oral um, speaking discussion, on actually an oral report on what they have read. This will get them speaking, and it will also show if they comprehend what they're reading. Number seven, idioms. What you can do is teach your children in the class age-appropriate idioms. And also I'm going to include a website that will give you um, uh, kid idioms that can be taught, as well as ask some of your ESL students to translate idioms from the foreign language that they speak to English. That way there's an exchange and you can see if there are any similar idioms from their language that we also use in English. Number eight silly sentences. This is one of my favorites. What you can do is you can take sentences, um, uh, paper, actually put paper, and write partials of the sentences and use picture cues by doing the who, how, type, what, where. Have the students cut this up, put them in those piles according to the who, how, type, what, where, and then have them flip the cards over and read the silly sentences that they created. Number nine, completing a dialogue. The students will look at the image and will see the beginning of the dialogue and then they're going to try to complete the dialogue. This way they're gonna see, you will see how well their understanding is of a conversation as well. 
Number 10, correct the spelling. This works for your older students. You give them a, an article or text and have them go through it and find the spelling mistakes. And once they have found the spelling mistakes, it's really, really good to have them read aloud. When students read aloud, this helps them to hear themselves speaking English. It improves pronunciation. Um, and then see, it also improves uh, their pacing as well as their intonation. Here is a list of other things that you can also do in class and make games out of it. Sequencing, summarizing, comparing, drawing conclusions, uh, problem solving, as well as locating a main idea, looking for the main details, as well as the final one would be to the supporting details. Thank you for listening and visit us for more tips at www.vle rock because we are always doing anything to help improve your teaching experience have a great day